Hi friends, today I am continuing my indie app development story and we will talk about MVP, minimal viable product. I don't know how good a day it was go outside for logging, it's snowing, <laughs> cold and dark, but yeah, regular Latvian weather. A week or few ago I said that I am building an app and planning to build an app and yeah, I am not gonna lie <laughs> that I did a lot so far and that is a nice chance to talk about MVP a little bit more, how to define requirements for MVP, how to build MVP and so on. So let's do that. But seems that my dog is ready to go home. So, let's clarify what is this startup jargon, MVP. In the nutshell, that is really, really simple. The MVP is the thing that you can deliver to your very first users for, from your target audience, what can do anything <laughs> to help them. <laughs> reach them targets, to reach them goals, to do something for them, to have any value for them. And that is something very, very basic. We are talking about beta app probably, if that is application. Yeah, that could be beta, for example. It is very important to talk with your potential customers. You have to talk with your customers to see what problems they have and to understand better how to solve those problems. If you're building product for yourself, that works as well. You will see if your problem is solved. So, what should we do when we're building MVP? The target of MVP is launch something bad. <laughs> Okay, something small, but maybe yeah, even bad. That most likely should be single feature application, something really small, but working. So that's first, build something small and ugly. Second, get someone to use this application. Again, the user may be you, but yeah, you need real users who will use this application. Third, talk to the customers to get feedback, to see what is working and what is not. But keep in mind that you are not looking for feature requests. You are looking if a product uh, solved the problem. Be focused on core functionality and implement whatever is needed to solve the core problem and be careful about feature requests because that can be, again, way to the death for the application. That is well known problem when you can get into the dead end of the product when you implement new features that customers are requesting. You are, so how it works, you, really, you are launching a product no one uses your product, Ask you are asking customers for feedback, getting feature requests, you are implementing, building in missed features, and again, no one is using application, and you are going rounds and rounds in this death cycle of the app, so be careful about feature requests. So, and number four in our list is iterate. Iterate until your product is <laughs> perfectly fine, but do fast iterations. Do not spend uh, half of the year to implement some feature request, but uh, see for small improvements which can bring big value for the customers and work on them and implement them. So, <laughs> sounds kind of easy when you explain that in this way, but when you are working on real-life application, it is really hard to do that well. For fresh app ideas, for something new, you can test the water even without building MVP, you can just, I don't know, make uh, app launching page and collect emails and so on. There are many ways how to test product ideas and so on, but Let's talk about that in another time. So in most cases we are building some application and we are cutting down all the features to get some core functionality and release that. Coffee time. MVP is targeted to the small and very limited user group and yeah, with this base base and core functionality and that is one of the reasons why I decided to change the project. Just to remind, I planned to build fasting app, but if I will narrow down all the functionality and will leave only necessary 
functions basically that will be just a timer for fasting and problem with this is that there are already huge market on applications in the app store with fasting apps and they all already have this base functionality i could build something on top of that but that is quite a long process and a little bit boring so i decided to switch projects oh that coffee smell amazing so but do not for, forget that when you're building your mvp you're building just starting point for your uh, that is just base and you will iterate from that later and that is really really important to do not put into the project on beginning some challenging and hard to implement features because you know we are geeks most of us who are developing applications and maybe you like to have some data import or export in or out from your application but actually that is not needed for normal and regular or regular users of the app concentrate on my features to solve my problem for users for what you're building this app probably i'm repeating that too much okay what is next step of course make coffee <laughs> but after that we have to write down all the requirements what we are planning to implement so make a list of all the necessary things what is really necessary to build your app okay you can of course write down all the requirements for version 2 3 5 10 and so on but yeah make a list and then break down this list and sort by e how easy those are to implement by ease of implementation Yeah. So what I'm building, I'm building that habit tracking application. You so good. So habit tracking application. What will be my requirements for my application? So I need daily task planner, some kind of interface for that. Some visualization to see planned versus versus done, what I planned and what I did. Widget probably. Let's write that down. Synchronization between multiple devices, uh, iPad, iPhone, Mac. <laughs> yeah, maybe, but that's already clear that that is not for version one. So I have to down, write down all the things that I would like to see here. Notifications, analytics, definitely to see progress. Currently I have in Excel, in Excel I have progress in percents to see how much was planned, how much is done. I would like to see that in application as well. Is it for first version? Probably not. Also it would be nice to have some friends, for example, if you would like to have this application, we could motivate each other, track each other progress and so on. That could be nice, but again, that is really complex functionality and that definitely is not going into the version 1. And yeah, of course, monetization. We already discussed it, how important it is to keep monetization in mind. That means in-app purchases for sure. Maybe we would like to add some ads for monetization, some functionality hidden behind paywall and so on. So you can make a very long list. When this list is ready, <laughs> throw it out. Just kidding, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, try to focus on most important things from this list. If you see that uh, your uh, pipeline of the tasks is bigger than, I don't know, few months, that depends, of course, of, from industry, from your team, from your budget, from project, but basically cut all what is not important out to hit your own target for release is it in one month or in six months up to you but that list should be short enough the product can be ugly but you should give it out into the market to see feedback from the users and all the iterations those should be rapidly fast you don't have time to implement some magical functions which will make your app the best app in the world. You should move really fast and make this product profitable as soon as possible. Profitability is really important. We already discussed about that. You like to see some paying customers as soon as possible. Profit profitability really matters. Even if you are developing your project as just side hobby or side project, sooner or later you will ask yourself, do you have time 
to invest in this whole in this project and if this project will bring some money to you that will be way more easy to justify time investment or maybe you will be able to hire these designers or programmers who will work on this project and yeah do not invest your time but invest back um, revenue or money what this project will generate so and that will allow to keep this project alive and regularly updated project that means happy customers and better project so balance between minimal product and still valuable product is really hard and yeah wish me luck by hitting like to <laughs> to hit that target and release something useful for users but still in short time period and not so ugly to get one star reviews in the app store so if your app will be ugly and not really functional and helpful for users you will just see a lot of one star reviews and it will be really hard to get back to the normal reviews after that so that balance is, is important do not uh, take my words if as a recommendation to release ugly projects just do not spend too much time on polishing so to summarize too much features that's potential to build application to spend too much time in application and build something that no one will use too little features and ugly project is straight way to annoy users and getting bad reviews in the app store but Fancy user interface and nice animations will not make your application great if this application do not solve core problem for the user. So that's really hard balance. Yeah, let me know if you have any good suggestions for me. I will continue work on this application and next video will be about app design. We already have idea what we will building. Uh, already have some lists of features that are needed in this application. I will do some estimate on them for development as well and together with designs that will be more clear how much time is needed for development and yeah, when design will be ready, next step will be development. Okay, that's about it, about MVP building. Thank you for watching and see you on next one. Bye.